And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a signature to a reply email on Google Workspace and Gmail. So here we are in Gmail, which is also Google Workspace, if you have your own custom domain. And I have an email here. So we're going to click on it. And we're going to click reply. And you'll notice that our signature is nowhere to be found. However, if you have a setting checked on the back end, your signature is going to show up at the bottom here. So if we were to send the email like this, the person who would receive it would see the email exactly as this. They'd see my reply, they'd see their initial email, and then they'd see my signature way at the bottom. Now, this is a major flaw with Gmail and it drives me nuts. So there are two solutions to this. Well, more like two workarounds. What you're gonna do is you're gonna copy your whole signature make sure you start with these two double lines. For some reason, if you copy below the double lines, the format of the signature gets really wonky. So you're gonna click either copy or you're gonna cut. And then if you do copy, make sure to delete because you don't want that at the bottom. And then underneath your reply text, you're gonna paste it in. And now you can delete the two lines right now, but you have to make sure that you don't do that until after you paste. So then you would send your email and there you go. So another method, let's say that your signature doesn't appear at the bottom of the email, you would just compose a new email. And as long as you have your signature set up to automatically appear on new emails, you just do the same thing. You copy it and then you paste. And that's it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of settings on the back end that have to do with signatures. So we're gonna go up to the cog here, see all settings. And then you're going to scroll down. I know it can be overwhelming. You're going to scroll down to signature here. And this is currently what my signature is set at. Now I do have a tutorial on how to create a custom signature, which I will link to down below. And I also have a tutorial on how to change your picture on Google Workspace because you can't do it right here if you use Google Workspace. You can if you have Gmail, but you can't with Google Workspace. It's very frustrating. Anyway, tutorial below. So back to the main purpose of this tutorial. You have your signature here, and these are the settings that you wanna look at. So for new emails, I always make sure that my signature pops up, which is why it appears here on a new email. Now on the reply slash forward use signature, I usually have it set to no signature so that way it doesn't show up at the very, very bottom of your email chain. And I do this because one, it's easier for me to just copy my signature from a new email, but also if I forget to delete it from the bottom of that email chain, it's gonna stay there. And if I have had to scroll down to the bottom of email chains just to get to the very first one, I'll often see a stack of signature upon signature that wasn't deleted and it drives me crazy it's just a waste of space so for the purpose of this tutorial I had it on so you could see how it looked but I recommend leaving it to no signature and once you're done you're going to click save changes and that's it so I'm going to show you to verify that the signature disappears from the very very bottom of the email chain on reply emails but first I need to delete this draft and basically go back to the beginning. So we're gonna click on the email and then click reply. And we're gonna click that dot, dot, dot here and our email's gone, our signature's gone. So that is how you add a signature to a reply email on Google Workspace and Gmail. I hope it helps.